It was cold and windy the afternoon a U.S. Air Force C-17 touched down at McGuire Air Force Base in New Jersey, completing the first transcontinental flight using a blend of synthetic fuel. The flight from McCord Air Force Base in Washington State is part of an Air Force initiative to certify its fleet to fly on a 50-50 combination of synthetic fuel by 2011. The synthetic fuel these engines are burning on this flight was purchased from Shell and made from natural gas. It is more likely that in the future Air Force planes will burn synthetic fuel made from liquefied coal given its abundance in the United States. Air Force Secretary Michael Wynn noted that this test flight is also important to the commercial airline industry. This is a bridge across, and it's a bridge across to the commercial air fleet. And that bridge across is because this engine is the same engine that flies on the Boeing 757. And so this is now being watched pretty carefully by my colleagues in, in the airline industry to see, okay, how we do. In addition to reducing dependence on foreign oil, the initiative should result in fewer carbon emissions, a plus in the battle against global warming. It could also mean less frequent engine maintenance, as cleaner fuels mean less engine coking. The McCord-based C-17 flight crew celebrated its transcontinental flight with a quick trip up the Hudson River past the towers of Manhattan. Now, he, wants to, he wants us to turn just to beam that tower, so we're going to let him know we're going to slow down. On board the U.S. Air Force synthetic fuel test flight at Hazelwood Aviation Week.